Hi guys, welcome back to It's RJ TV and welcome to another Golf Clash video. I am going to be showing you some tips on Tour 5 in this video. So if you're working on Tour 5, this is the video for you. If not, if you're a little bit lower, let me know in the comment section and I'll help you out with that particular course. Looks like we got a very even match here. We're both in the mid 600s. And let's see what type of course we get that we could tell you. I'll put it in the title, obviously. Oh, this is an excellent course. Okay, this is the one where we're, we're going to take, obviously, to the right. If you go straight, you're going to be dealing with having to take an extra shot. So this shortcut is great. And with a 5.9 mile an hour wind with re wind resistance, this is kind of dangerous. Occasionally, there is a crosswind that makes it a little bit scary for me to go this way, but... I like how he's backing off because he's compensating for going forward. So that's important. Let's see what kind of shot he gets. I think he's going to be in good shape. I think I would have curled it, but he did have the side spin. Okay, he landed just beyond that, and it's slowing down, so he's not going to have to take his next shot from the rough. Excellent shot, and as you can see, he's happy about that. Nice shot there, buddy. All right, our turn. Let's see. With no special ball, we're dealing with almost a 9-mile-an-hour wind. But it's side-to-side, -side, so that's an advantage for me because I don't have to deal with an 8.8-mile-an-hour wind going forward that's going to push me over the cliff. So I'm still going to back off just a little because it does scare me a little bit. But i got to go over here in the corner. If I don't go in the corner then my ball's going to veer off and go into the water on the left. This feels pretty good. A little, I feel a little scared. I'm also going to curl it to the right just to make sure that some of that momentum of the ball does not go and carry me over the cliff. Perfect shot. Let's see where we end up. Oh, can't get much closer than that. And we're slowing down. All right, I'm very happy with that shot. So right here, it's more about placement. We had enough power with the extra mile to not have to pull back too far. Thanks, bud. And now on this section of the course, we're trying to either get an albatross or get as close as we can to that hole so we got an easy putt in. So that's what he's doing. We'll have to take a look and see where he ends up. Putting that back spin on the ball, that's very smart. And as you can see, we both have the Viper, which is an excellent club for starting out. I definitely could see how we can outgrow it, but for where we're at, not doing pro series, I like the Viper. I just had a comment. Uh, I wish I remembered the name of the gentleman who commented, but he was talking about the Viper and why it didn't make my favorite club, club list. Wow, look at that roll. Nice shot, bud. And that's exactly what you want to do. You know, an albatross would be about the only thing that's better. You're not going to get an easier putt. Now, 1.2 mile an hour wind. So even though you have more of a crosswind because of the distance and also going over the cliffs, let's pull back. Well, that might be a little too much. I don't think I can push any more forward. Let's, nope. See the red? Yep. It's going to come back on me. So I'm going to have to just do a little bit less backspin. Maybe two. Let's see where this gets us. Okay. We know it's still going to bounce a couple times past that. Right here feels good. And we're running out of time. A little bit to the right because the wind is blowing to the left. Hopefully we can get a perfect shot here or close to it. I'll take a great shot. Let's see where we end up with that, with the ball guide and everything. It doesn't get much better than that. A little bit more backspin. Thank you. A little bit more backspin would have got me a slightly better shot, but, I mean, both of us have easy putts. So we will be going to a uh, tiebreaker. So this is basically how you play this course. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you. Let me get my putt in here to tie it up. And perfect shot. Okay. Hopefully we get a good shootout course. Um, 
there's this one course I really like that has like a cliff right in the middle as you go on the green and when the wind blows I, I got some great tips for yep and this is it there's only one problem um, let's see here oh no okay well the wind is blowing forward and backward the wind is going straight on so there's not I won't be able to show you what I wanted to show you with a crosswind but just use a little bit more backspin here and you'll be all right let's see where he ends up nice bounce oh my god the ball just stopped right there even nice shot man 1.06 I, I hardly ever get that close okay well let's see what we could do we got a 3.9 mile an hour wind so it's going straight on one extra bar than what I usually do here for to compensate for the four mile an hour wind going forward there's not much to do it's a straight on wind so all we got to do is hope we can get closer than 1.09 yards great shot I'm okay with that okay oh Oh, that was insane. Oh, it curled to the right. Oh, that would have been great to get a hole-in-one on video. Good game, man. Oh, doesn't get much closer than that. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Um, as you can see, you know, he wants to play again. This was a great match. Here, I'll give you guys a rematch. Maybe there'll be another course where I could help you guys out, give you some tips and tricks. This guy's good, especially on the shootout. Let's see where we end up for this game. Oh, I love this course. Okay. This is where your extra mile is really going to thrive. Now, yep, see with the 8, eight mile an hour wind, I know I'm going to go far enough. Now, I could overshoot it. But if you were to see, see as I'm pulling up, see how much room I'm gaining? If I were to pull it all the way back, I would only move up those few inches, it looks like. So it's just not worth it. Plus, the 8-mile-an-hour wind is going to carry me well onto the green from here. So I'm feeling pretty good about this shot. I am going to curl it, but in, I'm not going to deal with pulling back any further. And you see, I hit the green up over everything, just barely hit... That worked out great for me. I barely hit the rough there, and the rough slowed down my ball just enough on that one bounce to get me in good positioning there. Now, he has wind resistance, so I wonder if this is going to go against him because he's only got a 5.3 mile an hour wind, so he can't play the ball exactly how I played it. But I would probably play it the same way. I wouldn't add anything on that. Nope, see, he's pulling back further, probably to compensate because it's not an 8-mile-an-hour wind. Perfect shot. And he hits in the same spot as me. Going kind of fast. Oh, into the very thick rough. But 383, I've never hit a ball that far. Wow. I would say nice hit, but I don't want him to think I'm insulting him. But I've never seen 383. Oh, I hate being in between like this. Especially with the thorn, because when you back up the thorn more than three, it actually goes backwards on you, and I hate that. We got a 5.4 mile an hour wind blowing in on us. So, I am going to use the full three, but I don't want it to go backwards. I feel like I'm still going to go past the hole, though. I don't think this is going to be a chip in. I don't think it would with the skewer either. Great hit. Just a little pass, but we set ourselves up for a good putt. As long as he doesn't have the razor or a better club like that, I'm feeling pretty good that he's not going to be able to chip it in, although we can always get lucky. Let's see what he's got. Oh, the machete. I had the machete. Not a bad club, but um, unless he gets lucky, I think we're in good shape for another shootout here. And he's got less of a wind. Let's see what he does. Oh, only a good shot. And see, that happens. The, the meter goes quicker for you when you're in the rough and even faster when you're in the sand. So, you know, that's one of the reasons you want to stay in the green. Two easy putts, one for me, one for him. 
and we're going to go to another shootout and hopefully I can give you some tips and tricks. Oh no, he disconnected. Up oh, there we go. All right, we'll keep the game going. A um, little bit of a hang up there, I guess, on his connection. He'll get his quick and easy putt in. And let's see where we end up on the shootout. Hopefully we can win two. Definitely use the money. Nice shot, bud. All right, where are we going for our shootout? Oh, not a big fan of this particular one. I don't know why, but I can never get really close like I did on my last one. You know, within about... I like to be within three yards. Anywhere less than three. So, I can hope he makes a mistake. Because I am not going to get close. I need to learn this one a little bit better. Maybe you guys can leave me tips in the comments on how to better play this hole. See, he put the front spin on, but I just feel like the ball's going to go too far. All right, no top spin. Let's see where he ends up. There's like no in between on this hole for me. Do you guys struggle here too? Let's see if he struggles here. Nice shot over. Oh, see, he hit the rough and that took away some of his momentum. So actually, if he would have had more top spin, he would have done good. But I still don't feel good at 1680, 16.8, because I'm not very good at this hole. I usually get a lot closer than that, but I'm still not feeling very good. So we're going to put some top spin, learning from him his lesson. we got to remember, we're not using a Titan, so we need to adjust according, pull back a little bit. And let's see. Let's look at that wind. I'm feeling okay. Perfect shot. So if we don't end up close, it's our own fault. Okay, we didn't hit. Okay, see? We went a little too far. Normally you lose with that. But luckily we didn't have to worry because he made a mistake first. So the pressure wasn't really there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Helping in terms of, you know, maybe helping you take certain ways on certain courses. You guys have been great. This community has been great to my YouTube channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. My subscriber count has been steady climbing. My videos are being watched. You guys are commenting. Um, it's just a great community. Um, if What courses do you guys play on? I would love to know like if it's level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 you know going all the way up to level five you know or, or whatever i can give you tips on these things and i have no problem using different clubs or you know whatever to show you what types of videos are you guys looking for because i feel like you can only do so many on golf clash unless you guys like seeing let's plays kind of like these with with tips along the way but either way i appreciate you guys thank you for watching thank you for subscribing i really appreciate you if you're not already a subscriber, click that button. If you hit the bell, you'll know as soon as I upload videos. I've been uploading quite a few Golf Clash videos, as there seems to be a demand for them. Sorry about that. So give me a uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It would be great if we could hit 30 likes on this video. And let me know what you guys think and which uh, courses you guys struggle with. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.